Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Car Loop Data and Cobra Car Insurance. Hey everyone and welcome to my garage and in today's video I'm going to talk about how I charge our two electric vehicles here in Sydney, Australia, namely my white BYD seal here behind me to my right and also our blue Tesla Model Y to my left. For our Tesla Model Y, I use a Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. And to charge my BYD seal, I use the Ocular IQ Home Solar Charger from our friends at EVSC Australia. So to start with, I'm going to talk about how we charge our blue Tesla Model Y to my left. And in order to do that, I need to talk about the fact that I've recently just switched to Origin as my energy provider. Now with Origin, I'm only paying 8 cents per kilowatt hour provided I schedule my charge via the Origin app. More on this very shortly. I'm not sure whether you guys realize, but it's really easy to switch energy providers in Australia in 2024. Within 24 hours, I was able to switch from my previous energy provider to Origin. And what was great was that I didn't have to deal with my previous energy provider. My plan was disconnected automatically once I switched over to Origin. And once you're an Origin customer, you then need to sign up to their Origin EV Power Up which is super easy to do. You can do it yourself via the Origin app and it took me less than 15 minutes to get set up. And once you've got that ready, you can now charge your Tesla at eight cents per kilowatt hour. So in order to sign up to Origin's EV power up, you need to be sitting in your Tesla, you need your Tesla key card, and the app will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get set up with the EV power up. Now just keep in mind that during the setup process, Origin will ask you to sign in to your Tesla account. This now means that Origin can track when you're charging your Tesla and bill you correctly at eight cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, so this is the Origin app. As you can see there, I've got two Teslas showing up in my app. I've got the Tesla Model S, which uh, no longer lives with us. It's away from home at the moment. Uh, but I do also have the Tesla Model Y, which I am sitting in right now. It's currently unplugged. It does recommend that you keep your vehicle plugged in to maximize your potential to earn credits. Current state of charge is 64%, which of course correlates with the current state of charge of the vehicle right there. Now with the Origin app, you have the ability to uh, play with the settings. So let's do that. And from here, you can set the charge complete time. So set the time of day you normally need your car charged by. This can be changed at any time. So for example, for an average uh, working day or school day, we do need to leave the house around about 7.30 to 8 o'clock in the morning. So for safety, I set the charge complete time by 6.30 a.m. You can of course, uh, change it to whatever you like any time of day and from there you can press save and then the charge target says 100 percent now that correlates with my car's charge target we'll target your vehicle's charge limit setting to adjust this limit please see your vehicle's charge settings so at any time you can always go back to your car and then in the charging setting you can switch it to any state of charge you like this also works with solar charging by the way um, and i've done a video on solar charging with our powerwall too so check that one out um, but just for those who have solar charging enabled for the Tesla, you can still leave that on. You can still set your car's solar charging limit and the maximum limit as well. How this works is that Origin will charge the car to the solar limit. And then during the day when you're still plugged in, when the sun's out, the car will then charge the rest of the way with solar. Now, of course, it depends really if you still want to use solar charging for your car, because at the moment for my situation, if Origin's offering me 8 cents per kilowatt hour and my feed-in tariff is 7 cents per kilowatt hour, there's really not much difference between the two. There's not really that much of an incentive to charge with solar anymore. So most of the time I let Origin decide when to charge the vehicle at eight cents per kilowatt hour. Now here's a pro tip for those with a Powerwall 2 battery. Now if you plug your car in at any time of the day and allow the car to charge as per Origin schedule, it may actually draw energy from your battery during peak hours, which is not actually what I want. I'd rather the car charge itself from the grid overnight when the tariffs are cheaper and let the battery take care of the house when electricity is more expensive during the day. So for this reason, I still have a scheduled charge start at this location for my vehicle at 10 o'clock, and that's when my tariffs are cheaper with Origin, and that way the battery won't actually discharge when the tariffs are cheaper if you set it up correctly in the Tesla app. Okay, so let's show how this actually works in the real world. So let's plug in the Tesla Gen 3 wall connector into the car first. Okay, we're plugged in. Okay, so now that we're plugged in, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna take off all my limits. So take off my uh, scheduled charge start, take off charge on solar at this location, 
and then just let Origin do its thing. Okay, so let's have a look at the Origin app now, and it says, estimated 96% by 6.30 a.m. I found the Origin app to be quite conservative. Usually it can meet its target. I've not had a situation yet where it has not met the target by my designated time. So particularly at the rate it's going now, it's drawing the full 11 kilowatts with the charge limit of 100%, two hours remaining. But as I said, Origin can be quite conservative with its estimation. It says here, EV power up rate is active for this charge session. We can't meet your charge limit by the target time you've set as this charging session overlaps a peak demand period. What can I do? Origin then gives you some tips on how to ensure you meet your target by adjusting the charge ready time limit. Or alternatively, if you need the charge straight away, you can actually override these settings and just press that one and you can actually do an instant charge straight away. But please note that if you press start with the instant charge, then the EV power up rate of 8 cents per kilowatt does not apply anymore and you'll be charged at the uh, appropriate tariff for the time of day you are charging at. But like I said, I've not had a situation yet where my set charge target has not been met yet by my set time. And I've been told by Origin that because now we can track when you're charging your Tesla, it'll adjust your next power bill. That way you're only charged 8 cents per kilowatt hour for those specific charging sessions, no matter what time of day the car is charging at. So if you think about it, if you're an Origin customer and you're with the EV power up, and if you've got a rear wheel drive Tesla Model Y like us, which has a 60 kilowatt hour battery, if you're being charged 8 cents per kilowatt hour times 60 kilowatt hours is 480 cents or $4.80 for a full charge of a Tesla Model Y. And I can tell you right now, that is less than the average cost of a cup of coffee in Sydney in 2024. Okay, so take home points for cheap EV charging at home. Number one, be an Origin customer. Number two, sign up with their EV power up. Number three, this is only for Tesla owners at the moment. However, on the Origin website, it's coming soon for other EVs as well. Number four, set your desired maximum state of charge in your vehicle. Number five, set your charge complete time. And finally, number six, make sure you plug in your car every night before you go to sleep. And it's good to know that it still works with a Tesla Powerwall 2 and charge on solar feature as well. And just checking the Origin app once again, it's now showing estimated 100% by 6.30 a.m. the next day. And that is great news. Okay, so now on to my BYD seal. So this is the Ocular IQ Home from EVSC Australia. It comes in single or three phase installations. And as I said, this is a solar charger which means that it will utilize excess solar production. Instead of feeding back into the grid, it will use that energy to charge your EV. And I just want to thank the team at EVEC Australia for installing this at my property, and also for wiring up the CT clamps to monitor excess solar production in order to charge my BYD seal. Setup is also very easy. You can also access the back end of the charger via the Wi-Fi broadcast, and you can also program this button for an instant charge straight away. All right, so let's run through the Ocular app. So there it is, Tom Ludicrous Feed. That is my charger. And uh, you can also detect the energy flow right now from the home. So yeah, there it is there, minus 3.1 amps. It's pretty cloudy outside at the moment. And then there are three settings. There's solar assist, fast, and solar only. So fast is essentially just the quickest charge possible. The vehicle will be charged at maximum power, can be drawn from renewable energy source or just simply from the grid. So that's if you really want a quick charge. You can also set it at solar assist. So that's if you've got a smaller uh, solar system, this will charge your EV at a minimum of six amps plus any excess solar produced. So if solar production is low, power will be drawn from the grid at any time of day. If you've got a larger system, then you can just go solar only, and that'll charge your EV only when there's excess solar produced. Please note minimum excess of eight amps is required to protect the integrity of your vehicle's battery. And then you could switch between fast, solar assist or solar only through the eco mode setting. Okay, so like I said, you can just press this button for a quick charge and let's do that right now. Give you an example. All right, the charger is flashing. Hear the car beeping, lights on, click. All right, had a click also at the charger, which means we are good to go. Let's uh, check out what the app looks like. All right, so there's not much sun at the moment. It's just using solar assist. So only 6.3 amps at the moment going to the charger. If we ramp it up to fast, okay, so now it's on fast, it's now drawing 30.6 amps. And that's also seen as well on the main screen there, 30.9 amps. 
and there's correlation at the car. It's showing a draw of 6.4 kilowatts. And from the app, you can also uh, set scheduled charging times as well. So you can add extra charging slots. So for example, start, end time, charge duration is shown. You can repeat that if you like as well, every day of the week. You can also add a label, of course, customize the name of that schedule and set a limit as well for the current. And just down here on the records tab, it gives you a record of all your charging sessions. And you can also export like that as well to your email address. Now you'd be glad to know that the Ocular IQ Home is also OCPP compliant. So if you prefer not to use the native app, you can also remotely control it using another third party app. Say for example, Charge HQ. I'll leave a product link to the Ocular IQ Home charger in the video description below, as well as a discount code for the EVSE Australia website, which will give you a 5% discount across the entire store. Okay, so it's the next morning. Let's make sure both cars have charged to 100%. We'll check on the BYD seal first. Yes, indeed, it sure has, 100%. All right, let's check on the Model Y now. And just keep in mind that Origin's EV power-up doesn't actually require a Tesla charger necessarily. You can always use another charger, such as the Ocular IQ Home that I have for the BYD seal. And perfecto mundo, 100%. So it looks like the Origin EV power-up worked last night. And just keep in mind too that your experience may vary depending on the speed of your charger and also the electricity supplied to your home, which will of course determine your charging rate. Okay, so we've got a nice day in Sydney and uh, let's have a look at the Ocular app. Minus four means four kilowatts coming from the solar panels excess. And then that's 8.1 amps. I've got it on solar assist. And the charger is using 5.3 amps um, of that energy for charging the BYD seal. Now I guess something else you've got to keep in mind is that my Ocular IQ Home is set up as a three-phase charger, but because my BYD seal has a single-phase onboard charger, it will only pull one-third of the available solar energy to charge the vehicle. So if you really want the full amount, then it would be best to set it up as a single-phase charger to maximize the gains from the excess solar. So check this out. The Origin app will actually keep track of how much you've saved on the EV power-up. So from the 20th of May to the 26th of May, I've saved $7.77. And when I go to the breakdown, it's even more of a saving, $9.14. It tells you how much each day that you've used in total to charge the vehicle and how much credit you've received as well. And that will be applied to your next bill from Origin. All very transparent, which is great. Let's view all. There you go, that's the history of all the savings I've made with the EV power up from Origin. All right, everyone, well, that is my home charging setup for both our EVs here in Sydney, Australia, for my BYD Seal, and also for our Tesla Model Y. Details for Origin's EV power up, which will give you eight cents per kilowatt hour, as well as the product link for the Ocular IQ Home can be found in my video description below, so check those out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Until the next ludicrous feed video, happy charging.